It is Wednesday the 24th. It is about 4.49. This podcast is coming out late due to the fact that I had a whole bunch of shit had to get done today. And, you know, it's all personal shit. Also, too, Adrian wasn't feeling so well, so he stayed home. That just added to the factor of the day. And once again, he threw up in my car when I clearly... Well, tell him if he tells me, I will pull over so he can throw up. But I do applaud him for trying because instead of telling me, he rolls down the window, sticks out his head, and just throws up all to the side of my car. But, you know, that's the kind of shit that happens when your kids are sick. And he just seems a little more resourceful than the other kids because the majority of my other kids, when they're at that age, would just throw straight up on themselves. And he has the mindset of, like, I'm not doing that. That's gross. So, I love him. That's what it is. Shit fucking happens. But you know what? I want to touch base on something that, you know, I just find horrible. You know what I'm saying? It's something that pisses me off. Something that upsets me. And, you know, it's... Everybody here can deal... Can can actually, you know, touch base with this. And it's communication in a relationship. I have the privilege of being with somebody who can communicate gets across what she needs to get across and talks to me, you know, straight out like, look, these are the facts. And I enjoy that. But, you know, there's other people around me that are dealing with shit that they just can't fucking handle. And it's communicating to your significant other how you're feeling, what you're doing, and what's going on in life. Look, people can't speak to people sometimes because they feel some kind of way. And I don't understand that. Look, it took me quite some time to get what that is and what that fucking means, you know? And you know what? Communication means speaking on the things that are important that you feel that needs to be said. And a lot of people just don't have the courage, the balls, or the foresight to speak up before something happens. Look, when you hold something inside, it builds up. And when it builds up, it becomes a force that drives you to think a certain way, feel a certain way, and act a certain way. So if you can't get off your chest what you need to say, it becomes a burden. And you know what? Things like this are the way I used to think. When I was growing up, and and I say growing up because I was a young father. I had my first kid at 18. I took took my girlfriend in. We had three kids together before we, or let's say we had, yeah, we had uh, one child together before we got married. And then we had two more after that. And at the same time, I'm growing up, she's growing up. And these are just things that we didn't deal with. I had the, the, the misconception of I work, I pay the bills, I supply the money, she takes care of the home and the kids. Well, unfortunately, that's not how real life works. I just had that conception because that's how I grew up understanding things. As in, when I say understanding things, look, no one taught me anything. I didn't have a father figure in my life. I just had a lot of strong women that just I watched and I grew up. uh, But you know what? I grew up watching a lot of TV. I grew up watching a lot of movies. And my conception of a relationship was is when a person gets married, you work, she stays home. And that's the dynamic I had with my first marriage. I worked my ass off. I worked so much. I was more at work than I was at home. But the thing was is, growing up at her age, at my age, being young parents, we never learned to speak. We never learned to properly communicate. We never learned to have a line, an open line of communication that no one would get upset and no one would take the wrong way because we know we both needed to speak. And that's what I'm saying. Look, I didn't know that. I had to grow up and learn that. I just barely learned that. Like I said, I'm 35. And let's say 32, 33, I started understanding that. Ain't that crazy? I really, truly didn't fuck. I would hold things in and it brew. And it brew. And then I get upset. And then I wouldn't say anything. And then I'd just be upset. And that person would be upset. I would be upset. And then what the fuck happens? An explosion happens. Look, my first marriage was a horrible, horrible fucking thing. And look, I was blind to it. I thought things were perfect. But they weren't fucking perfect. Because I thought I was doing my part. I thought I was doing good. 
But unfortunately, she didn't know how to speak to me what she felt, and I didn't know how to listen. I didn't know how to read. I didn't know, and when I mean read, I mean read body language, read, um, you know, emotions, read feelings in the face. I'm a fucking guy. All I know is, you say you're fine, I think you're fine. If you make me think you're upset, if you tell me you're upset, then I'm gonna fucking, why are you upset? Let me fix that problem. You know, and that just wasn't what, that just wasn't what, what, what anything was at all. You know, that, cause that's not how that works. Look, I'm not a fucking mind reader. And now I'm just blatant with my feelings. I'm feeling this way, so I'm gonna speak this certain way. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling this, what's making me feel like this. And the reason I'm talking like this is because I'm upset. I need that person to reciprocate what needs to be said to me so I can understand their part, understand what they're going through, and then we can talk back and forth to figure out what the fucking problem is. Because, basically, that's how problem solving works. Two people speak, two people get a mutual ground of understanding, and then you move forward. Compromise, compromise, compromise. But back when I was growing up, I didn't have compromise. I didn't know what compromise was. I'm the man. I make the rules. I make the money. I pay for everything. You just take care of the house and kids and let me know what's needed. That's just how I understood it. That completely wrong and backwards. You know, it's a two-way fucking street. But to me, when I was growing up, that's not how I understood it. That's not how I got it. I just understood that I'm the man and I'm in charge. Which clearly, it's not the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be, we both work, we both fucking take charge, we both make decisions, and we both compromise on these decisions. But that's not the case, and that wasn't the matter. You know, it, it's the misconception of understanding. Most people won't look at the other person's, sh- in the other person's side, be in the other person's shoes, and put them in their situation. They only see their situation. I've learned to... Be more well-rounded in my thoughts about what is going on. Why is this person feeling like this? Why is this person acting like this? Why is this person talking like this? Look, I can't understand what they're thinking. I can't understand how they're feeling unless they speak to me. But I've learned to pay attention to my surroundings, pay attention to the people around me, and understand that if something's wrong, I need to be able to gauge it and communicate about it. The other person should be able to communicate back and understand that I'm not going to explode. I'm going to be understanding. And that's how a relationship fucking works. People don't speak. They only react. It's human fucking nature. Look, in the world and in life, we grow up only thinking and knowing what our parents teach us. And it's so on and so on and so on. It, it, It just continues. It's a perpetuating thing. And if you can't break that loop, then you're going to end up in the same situation everyone else is in. Being upset, being mad, and not understanding why. Look, everyone always thinks they're right. Nobody is ever right 100% of the time. Even my fucking self. But, I learned to eat that, understand that, and get that. And when I mean eat it, I mean, look, I made a mistake, I'm sorry, I understand what I did now. You, sometimes people don't get what they do until it's too late. But when that happens, you need to understand that that's my fault. I understand. And express that to the person. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this. I didn't know. You know, let the, get it across that you understood what happened now and that you're willing to change to what the environment is, to what the change needs to be, to what is going on in the situation so this doesn't happen again. Look misconceptions and miscommunications are a big problem nowadays because everybody wants to be all up in everybody's business and know what the fuck is going on. Nobody has fucking trust anymore. It is hard to have trust with somebody because it's 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 something once you lose you can't really get back. And a lot of times people don't fucking understand that. Look. If someone is too young, let's say an older person is with a younger person, but yet the uh, the younger person doesn't get what the older person is saying. And it's because they're young. They haven't grown up yet. They don't have the knowledge or the awareness or haven't even been woken up to the real world. And so sometimes when that happens, people take things wrong and they don't understand. Look, there's planning, there's futures, there's takes on things that people need to do 
to communicate across life. And sometimes people feel like they're putting them down or they're giving them too much advice or they're like, no, a lot of the times your loved ones are trying to tell you something that you need to know. So when further down the line happens, you'll understand why they told you. Look, advice is great. Opinions are great, but you don't need to take them. Only use what you want because as you're growing, people give you advice. I've gotten so much advice in my life and I've been through so much and I'm a person who learns the hard way. My life hasn't been great. My life isn't the best, but I make do with what I got. And the reason I make do with what I got is because I learned to understand that things happen and you just need to deal with life as it comes. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. Life isn't always going to be better because of one person or this and this. No, your life is only great if you want it to be. A lot of the times people look, I need to be with this person to be happy. He's like, no, I'm happy. So I'm going to be happy because I have myself and I understand that I have my kids. I have myself. I make myself happy. You know, some it's the hardest fucking thing to do. Depression's a motherfucker. But sometimes you can't be like that. And you got to understand that, look, if you're not happy, how are you going to make someone else happy? Look, if you're miserable, you're going to make the next person miserable. You need to understand that you need to do what's best for you to make your life happy. And a lot of the times, most people are in the same car, the same boat, going in the same direction. And you know what? Company is great. But just like a road trip, just like a boat trip, things and people go in different directions. And it is what it is. Look, you need to understand that you need to be able to speak and communicate with what's going on and with the people around you. Because look, it is important. If you are holding back information that is important, that's a bad mistake, that something that happened that's bad, but you need to speak on it. Look, the truth will set you free. It's a fucking known God damn fucking fact, regardless if it's a good situation or a bad situation or an okay situation or it doesn't fucking matter situation. Sometimes you just need to speak on shit because if you don't, how in the fuck is anybody going to fucking know what the fuck is going on? Or how is somebody going to, when someone, let's say, you know something, you don't tell nobody, you keep it to your fucking self, but then later down the line, it bites you in the ass because all of a sudden it comes out and all you had to do is speak on it earlier and you... And yourself or whoever else could have to either handle the situation, took care of the situation, but yet you didn't speak and it made it worse. Sometimes it's just good to get shit done. It's like jumping in a fucking pool. We all know the fucking water is cold, but guess what? If you just dive right the fuck in, you're fine. It's when you fucking take a one step in, one step, next one, next one. It's cold until you get all the way to your fucking neck. You know? And that's just what it is. Look, it's a fucking great fucking example of taking your fucking time makes things worse. Just fucking jump in, handle it, speak up, say fucking something. Because if you don't, then shit's just going to fucking fall apart and it's going to be even worse till you get all the way in. You know, I might just be mumbling on about bullshit, but look, communication is great. Communication is fine. People need to have it more. I feel people need to have it more. People need to be able to speak. Look, if you can't get your point across... Then what the fuck? If if you can't have a conversation about real life situations with your significant other, then there's a fucking problem. Because if you're more worried about getting them upset and them being upset, then there's a fucking problem. You need to be able to speak up and let and they should be able to understand. It's a two-way fucking street, just like them. If something is fucking happening and they aren't saying something, then what the fuck are you supposed to do? You know, like, fuck, I wish I would have known about that earlier. I had the money to take care of it or I had the time and the ability to take care of it earlier or, you know, and now it just falls in my fucking lap and I'm pissed off. Look, if you speak up, things will be better. All right. Sometimes things are hard at first, but they get fucking better. It's just fucking facts of fucking life. Look. I can't fucking stand when someone fucking tells me something last fucking minute and then expects me to be able to fucking take care of it. How in the fuck am I supposed to fucking take care of it at last fucking minute? That's not my fucking responsibility if you couldn't fucking speak the fuck up and let me know ahead of fucking time. Look, I handle all my situations in an adult fucking manner. And not everybody's in a fucking adult. And regardless of how old a person is, some people just never grow up. And because of that, it makes life fucking difficult. 
And I'm not about making my life difficult. I'm not about making anybody's life difficult. I want to be able to enjoy what the fuck I'm doing in, with my life and with the people that I have in my life. You know, I don't got time to be bullshitting. I ain't got time to be fucking around. I ain't got time for people wasting my fucking time. And I will tell fucking people, look, I'm good. I'm not doing that. I'm not with that. Look, you need to be able to talk to people. And if people can't take constructive criticism, people can't fucking take your opinion. People don't want to fucking listen to what you have to fucking say. Then guess the fuck what? Get fucking new people. You know, take people who have your opinion, your advice, the way you think in life on the same level as you. Because if you don't, then you're just with idiots. And when you're with idiots, you're only going to get idiot responses, idiot fucking answers, and idiot fucking people wondering, what the fuck? You know, you know, I see people all the time that just fucking wander around in life, not really getting it, not really understanding it. People doing things that they have to fucking keep a secret. Look. There are secrets that must be kept. There are secrets that fucking people keep and tell and don't want no one to fucking know, which is fucking understandable. But if everything in your life is a fucking secret, then who the fuck are you going to speak to? Who the fuck are you going to talk to? Are you just going to pretend to be some other fucking person that you're fucking not around other fucking people? Look, I tell people all the fucking time. Look, I'm poor. I barely make it. I don't have shit. I fucking live day to fucking day. You know, I have injuries, I'm hurt, I fucking, I got my own fucking list of fucking problems, you know. A lot of times, you know, when I, like, just with my lady. But when I decided to make things serious, I laid everything on the table just to see if she would understand. And you know what? She understood. Look, like I said, I, at that moment in time in my life, I work at night. I have no time during the week. I have four kids. I have two baby mamas. One baby mama is a fucking maniac, insane, and fucks with my life all the damn time. Look, I have, you know, issues. I have concerns. I go to the gym. I spend more time at the gym than I spend anywhere else. I have goals. You know, um, you know, everything around my kids, my kids come first. Look, there's a, a fucking grandiose amount of things that I explained to her and talked to her about and secrets that I've spoken to her because I want to make sure that she understood what she was getting into and then accept later down the line finding out what the fuck this and this and this. You didn't tell me none of this. And then she ups and bounce. I ain't got time for bullshit like fucking that. At fucking all. Look, if I laid all my cards on the table, she laid all her cards on the table, and we're like, we're fine with that. Guess the fuck what? You will be fine. There's not going to be any surprises down the fucking road, and everything's going to fucking work out. It's when you decide to keep shit from the other person that fucks you up. Why would you fucking do that? It's fucking retarded. Look, people lie. People steal. People fucking cheat people do all kinds of fucking idiotic fucking things it's a fucking it's just what it is i ain't got time for bullshit other people ain't got time for bullshit but if you just communicate across the fucking board what it is people are fine with it people rather know the truth than wait to be lied to because waiting to be lied to is even worse because you could have just told me from the get-go and i would probably have been fine with it how fucking hard is fucking that But that's the kind of shit that I'm fucking talking about. People don't fucking communicate. People are always worried about hurting the next person's feelings, but what they're thinking and what they want to say. And if you can't say what you want, think how you want, and express yourself in those ways to the person you're with or to the people around you, why the fuck are you with them? Why the fuck are they around you? Why in the fuck do you deal with these fucking people? Look, I don't hold nothing fucking back with my friends. I fucking spit to them the same way I spit to everybody. I talk to my lady just like I talk to everybody else. And the reason I'm like that is because that's who I fucking am. And I don't want to have to deal with bullshit. I don't want to have to keep secrets. I don't want to have to lie. I don't want to bullshit anybody because I'm tired of it. And I don't want no one to do it to fucking me. So if I'm straight up with you, be straight up with me. And if issues pop up, trust me. As soon as I know, you'll fucking know. 
And the reason that is is because why would I fucking want to surprise you later down the line when something's fucking going on and we could have probably fixed it earlier. We could have brainstormed. We could have talked. We could have spit ideas to change the situation, to fix the situation, to make the situation better. Sometimes when you deal with shit on your own, it only becomes worse because you only see one out fucking come. But sometimes when you speak to your significant other, to your friends, to people that are around you that care enough to hear what you have to say, it can make the situation better. Because they can show you a different route, a different way, or offer a certain kind of help or a certain amount of help. That's what I'm fucking saying. I just don't want to fucking deal with people like that ever. And I see other people dealing with it right now in, in life and it pisses me off because I'm like, look, you're better than that. If you're straight up and they're not straight up, well, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck their lives. Fuck what they're doing. Fuck who they are. You ain't got time for it because I know I ain't got time for it. I don't want to see you struggle over someone else's fucking lies because you don't fucking lie to them. You let them know what's up. You let them know what's going on and you tell them what it is and how it is. Yet they don't understand either because they're too young, either because they're they're not willing to listen, either because they're not fucking willing to understand. Because just because you hey, just because you can take a horse to fucking water doesn't mean that motherfucker's going to drink. And if it doesn't drink, oh, fucking well. Shit fucking happens. It fucking does. Look, I just want to make sure that people understand, look, it's a better way of life if you just speak the fuck up. Fuck, hey, if you just dive into the water, you ain't got to worry about being cold because you're already going to transist as soon as you fucking come up. And by just diving headfirst into fucking problems, headfirst into issues, and speaking the fuck up right off top, things will be better. And they will get better. And they will fucking change for the better. It's not that fucking hard. At fucking all. I can't stand fucking retards. So I don't hang around with fucking retards. I only deal with people that are straight up and truthful. I only deal with the kind of fucking people. That I would have let around my fucking kids. It's not a it's not a huge fucking group. But it is my fucking group. And that's what I'm fucking saying. Look. It's fucking Wednesday. This fucking podcast is fucking being like, I was dealing with all kinds of fucking bullshit today. Not really bullshit, just dealing with shit that I shouldn't have to deal with because I don't feel the other person should have to deal with. And it pisses me to fuck off. If I had the chance to punch people in the face and not get in trouble, well, guess what I would do? Exactly that. But that's a whole fucking other story. So it's angry fucking dad podcast. Look. Angry Fucking Dad Podcast. You can find me on fucking Facebook, Stitcher, Twitter, fucking Spreaker, Sound fucking Cloud, fucking Google fucking Plus. I'm on fucking iTunes, Apple Cast, whatever the fuck you want to fucking call it. You get me on YouTube, hit your fucking subscribe button with the little fucking bell marker so you know these fucking podcasts and my fucking videos come out. Which I should be fucking making more fucking videos, but at the same fucking time, you know what? I'll fucking make them when I want to fucking make them. Now check this the fuck out. Now what I'm fucking saying is go check out Angry Dad go to Angry Fucking Dad Podcast. No, go check out It Be Like That Podcast. Because I fucking said so. I enjoy it. I listen to it. And it's fucking great. Same thing with Terrible Terror Path Podcast. Go check it out. I like it. It's fucking great to me. I it, it suggests a whole bunch of fucking movies that I haven't seen and a whole bunch that I did see. And it actually teaches me things that I didn't realize about the fucking movie. And these are just B ass fucking horror movies. All right. Also, too, just got done listening to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast, Unleashed with Billy Gunn and his son. God damn it, I ain't laughed so fucking hard in my life in a while. But it was fucking great. You know, these are the fucking podcasts that I fucking listen to. And if you want to go fucking check them out, go fucking check them out. And if you don't, oh fucking well. You know, it's fucking Wednesday. I'll see you guys on fucking Friday. I'm trying to think of a fucking story to use. I got one on the uh, that I've been mulling around in my head. But, you know, I, uh, we'll see what the fuck I speak up on fucking Friday. All right, so I'll see you guys on fucking Friday. Fuck.